one of the most dangerous women that ever lived, Griselda Blanco. Griselda Blanco Restrepo, known as La Madrina, the Black Widow, the cocaine godmother and the queen of narco-trafficking, was a Colombian drug lord of the Medellin cartel and a pioneer in the Miami-based cocaine drug trade and underworld during the 1980s through the early 2000s. It has been estimated that she was responsible for up to 200 murders while transporting cocaine from Colombia to New York, Miami and Southern California. At her height, Blanco was one of the richest and most dangerous women in the world, and was one of the most powerful drug kingpins in the world. She became the first ever billionaire female criminal ruling her multi-billion dollar drug trafficking empire with an iron fist, and becoming one of the deadliest women of all time. Blanco was born in Cartagena on February 15, 1943. On the country's north coast, she and her mother, Anna Black, moved to Medellin when she was three years old. Upon arriving there, she quickly adopted a criminal lifestyle. Blanco's former lover, Charles Cosby, recounted that at the age of 11, Blanco allegedly kidnapped, attempted to ransom, and eventually shot a child from an upscale flatland neighborhood near her own neighborhood. Blanco had become a pickpocket before she even turned 13. To escape the sexual assaults of her mother's boyfriend, Blanco ran away from home at the age of nine and resorted to looting in Medellin until the age of 20. On February 18, 1985, she was arrested by cops in her home and held with full bail. After they sent her to prison she tried to escape, Blanco was sentenced to more than a decade in jail. While in prison, she continued to effectively run her cocaine business with the help of her son Michael Blanco. By pressuring one of Blanco's lieutenants, the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office obtained sufficient evidence to indict Blanco for three murders. However, the case collapsed due to technicalities relating to a phone sex scandal between the star witness and female secretaries in the District Attorney's Office. In 2002, Blanco suffered a heart attack while imprisoned. In 2004, Blanco was released from prison and deported to Medellin, Colombia. Before her death in 2012, the last sighting of Blanco was in May 2007 at the Bogota airport. On the night of September 3, 2012, Blanco died after being shot twice, once in the head and once in the shoulder by a motorcyclist in Medellin, Colombia. She was shot at Cardaso Butcher Shop on the corner of 29th Street, after having bought $150 worth of meat. The middle-aged gunman climbed off the back of a motorbike outside the shop, entered, pulled out a gun, and shot Blanco two times before calmly walking back to his bike and disappearing into the city. She was 69. Thank you for watching Dangerous Women. Please like and subscribe.